Welcome to my channel everybody. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to take care of hermit crabs, showing you around my crab habitat, and just teaching you a little bit of information you probably need to know. So I made this video about a year ago and I rewatched it and I was like, this is really good information. It's just not good quality. It's a little bit outdated. So I decided to refilm it. Let's go. First off, I'm going to start with temperature and humidity. These are my temperature and humidity gauges. I got them from Petco. Temperature should be around 70 to 85 degrees unless you have a heating pad at the bottom or the side of your enclosure. Humidity should be around 75 to 85%. My temperature is from a heating pad. It's going to be a little lower in the air because if Chance is cold, he goes underneath the soil. Next is Shells. This is Chance and he's just sitting on his log. And then beside him are six shells and you cannot see all the six because he buries some of them. He does have six. He has one smaller one and then he has five bigger ones. He uses those after he sheds his exoskeleton and then he uses a bigger shell. Water. You have to have two bowls of water, salt water and fresh water. My bowls are deep enough depending on the size of my crab. Your bowls should be two. Mine are about this deep because my crab is about this big. The bowls should also have an escape route on the side. They can climb out and they should be deep enough where the crab can bathe in them, but not too deep where the crab will drown. They drink fresh water and they bathe in salt water. Next is food. Food is very tricky. Pet stores will try to sell you these little pellets of food. Don't buy them. They're full of pesticides. 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 They will kill your crab. Do not feed them pesticides. Instead, I made a fruit and veggie smoothie. I used organic fruits and vegetables, some other nutrients that I will explain more in another video. I blended them all up in a smoothie, topped it with some freeze-dried river shrimp, his favorite. I froze it in little cups, popped it into his food bowl. Finally, I just have an overview of my Crabitat, just to talk about it a little bit. The soil is cocoa fiber and sand. Gravel breaks their legs. Use cocoa fiber because it helps them dig and they can molt. They love digging. Tons of hiding places are really good for them too. They love to hide. They love to climb. Make sure there's no artificial dyes. 10 gallons per crab is ideal for a hermit crab. Wire cages are not enough room for your crab to survive. Everything should be good. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you would like to, and I hope you have a great day.